I'm fine. Thank you. I hope all of you are fine. Okay. How about home learning? Is it exciting? Yes. Exciting because we meet in our video next for the science. Have you read your science book? Now we learn about shadows. Prepare your books, your learner books. Open page 66. Unit 5 Shadows. What is shadow? Uh, before we have studied about lights. Lights travel in straight lines. Remember? Unit 5 we learn about mirror and we learn about lights too. Light always travel in straight lines from the source of light. What is source of light? Yes, the main source of light is sun. We have lamp, we have torches, and we have the film projector. When light is stopped or blocked, by solid object, it cannot shine through the object and form the shadow. So, let's watch this video. What is a shadow? Time. Time. Go away. Go, go away. away. Why, Why don't, don't you away? leave me Why alone? Don't you leave me alone. <laughs> That's because it's my brother, Shadow. That's because it's my brother, Shadow. Whether we are standing out in the sun or Whether next to a light source, our body does, does not let any light our pass through us. No, 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 no. So what happens? A dark so patch forms in the a area where the light does not reach. The, area the dark the patch is called a shadow. The dark patch is called a shadow. Time. Go away, go away. Why don't you leave go me away. alone? Go away, go away. Why don't you leave me alone? <laughs> That's because it's my brother, Shadow. That's because it's my brother, Shadow. Whether we are standing out in the sun or next to a light source, our, body does, light our body does not let nah, any nah, light nah, pass through us. No, 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 no. So what nah, happens? Nah, nah. A dark patch nah, nah. forms in the area where a the light does not reach. Forms in the, the dark area patch where the light is called a shadow. The dark patch is called a shadow. about it. 
punya kakak, adik, atau orang tuamu, mungkinkah cahaya itu bergeraknya berbelok? Ya, kalau misalnya di sini ada sumber cahaya, di sini ada benda. Apakah cahaya itu lurus atau cahaya itu berbelok? Coba pikirkan. Kalau cahaya itu berbelok, akankah kita menemukan kekuatan? Sebab seperti pelajaran yang tadi disebutkan, kalau cahaya itu bergerak lurus, ketika dia dihadap, it is block, it is stop by an object, ya, di stop, dicegat, dihalangi oleh sesuatu, di sini akan terbentuk bayangan. Oke, okay, so talk about it, diskusikan hal itu. Selanjutnya, kita masuk ke page 68. Look at your learner's book, page 68, 5.2. Which materials let light through?
Welcome to Kids Academy. Ready, Bolly? Try and guess these shadows. Ready, Bolly? Try and guess these shadows. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one. Now, how about this one? It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one. Roof, 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 roof. It's a dog. What is it? Nice. It's a dog. Hey, Andrew. Uh, what makes a shadow? That's a good question, Molly. Let's check it out. As we learned in earlier lessons, light comes from a light source, like the sun. As we learned in earlier lessons, if that light gets blocked by another object, like a tree, it creates a shadow. Blocked by another object, like a tree, it creates a shadow. Blocking sources of light can create different types of shadows. Now let's step into the light pit and do some experiments with different objects to see what kind of shadows we can make. The first object we're going to use is a plastic clipboard. You can see, I can see my hand right through the clipboard. Most light is passing through it. If I hold it in front of my light source like this, it doesn't make much of a shadow. Objects like this that let almost all light through are called transparent. Our next object is this plastic lid. Now this plastic lid may look transparent like a clipboard before it, but you'll notice if I put my hand behind it how much more difficult it is for you to see my hand through it. Objects like this are called translucent. Translucent means that some of the light can pass through, but not all of it. Translucent objects leave a shadow like this. You can see that the inside of the shadow is kind of light. Some of the light is passing through, but some of it is being black. If I hold the plastic lid up to the light, it will dim the entire surface. If I hold it closer down like this, you can see a sharp outline of a translucent object, while still letting some of the light come through the middle. The last object we're going to use are unit cubes. Now you can already tell from the shadow in the background here that this object doesn't let any light pass through. The closer I get to the surface, the darker my shadow gets. But if I put it in front of my light source, it'll completely block out all the light. An object that doesn't let any light through like this is called opaque. These objects make very solid shadows like the one you see here. Take a look at our three objects again. We have our opaque unit cubes, our transparent clipboard, and our translucent plastic cup. Take a look at the shadows they make. Our transparent clipboard lets the most light through and barely makes any shadow. Our translucent plastic lid makes a little bit of a shadow, but you can still see the light through it. And our opaque unit cubes make a really dark shadow blocking all the light. As sunlight comes down to Earth, sometimes it gets blocked by clouds. The clouds will make shadows like this. Try and guess the objects that made these different shadows. This shadow here was found in a restaurant. That made these different shadows. This shadow here was found. It's created by these wooden letters. It's created by these wooden letters. This shadow is created on a curb near the road. This shadow is created on a curb. It's a fire hydrant shadow. It's a fire hydrant shadow. What about this shadow here? What about this shadow here? It was made by a little girl. Today, we learned that if light traveling from a light source gets blocked, Today, it creates a shadow. Different objects can create different types of shadows. Transparent means all light passes through. These objects are almost invisible. Translucent means some light can pass through. And opaque means no light can pass through. Opaque objects make really good shadows. That's a lot of cool stuff about shadows. Let's get back to our shadow puppets. That's a lot of cool stuff about shadows. Let's get back. See you, pals. See you next time. See you, pals. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.
find links to our apps in the comments below. Yes, you can learn more in Kids Academy. Okay, here's our studio. Here's our... Welcome to Kids Academy. Ready, Bali? Try and guess these shadows. Ready, Bali? Try and guess these <sighs> mm, It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one. How about this one? It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one. Roof, 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 roof. It's a dog. Roof, roof, roof. Nice. It's a good question, Molly. Let's check it out. As we learned in earlier lessons, light comes from a light source, like the sun. If that light gets blocked by another object, like a tree, it creates a shadow. Blocking sources of light can create shadows. Blocking sources of light can create shadows. Blocking sources of light can create different types of shadows. Now let's step into the light lab and do some experiments with different objects to see what kind of shadows we can make. The first object we're going to use is a plastic clipboard. You can see, I can see my hand right through the clipboard. Most light is passing through. If I hold it in front of my light source like this, it doesn't make much of a shadow. Objects like this that let almost all light through are called transparent. Our next object is this plastic lid. Now this plastic lid may look transparent like I've ever before it, but you'll notice if I put my hand behind it how much more difficult it is for me to see my hand through it. Objects like this are called translucent. Translucent means that some of the light can pass through, but not all of it. Translucent objects leave a shadow like this. You can see that the inside of the shadow is kind of light. Some of the light is passing through, but some of it is being blocked. If I hold the plastic lid up to the light, it will dim the entire surface. If I hold it closer down like this, you can see the sharp outline of a translucent object, while still letting some of the light come through in the middle. The last object we're going to use are unit cubes. Now you can already tell from the shadow in the background here, that this object doesn't let any light pass through. The closer I get to the surface, the darker my shadow gets. But if I put it in front of my light source, it will completely block out all of it. An object that doesn't let any light through like this is called opaque. These objects make very solid shadows like the one you see here. Take a look at our three objects again. We have our opaque unit cubes, our transparent clipboard, and our translucent plastic top. Take a look at the shadows they make. Our transparent clipboard lets the most light through and barely makes any shadow. Our translucent plastic lid makes a little bit of a shadow, but you can still see the light through. And our opaque unit cubes make a really dark shadow blocking all the light out. As sunlight comes down to earth, sometimes it gets blocked by clouds. The clouds will make shadows like this. Try and guess the objects that made these different shadows. This shadow here was found in a restaurant. It's created by these wooden letters. This shadow is created on a curb near the road. It's a fire hydrant shadow. What about this shadow here? What about this shadow here? It was made by a little girl. Today, we learned that if light traveling from a light source gets blocked, it creates a shadow. Different objects can create different types of shadows. Transparent means all light passes through. These objects are almost invisible. Translucent means sunlight can pass through. And opaque means no light can pass through. Opaque objects make really good shadows. That's a lot of cool stuff about shadows. Let's get back to our shadow puppets. That's a lot of cool stuff about shadows. Let's see you, pals. See you next time. See you, pals. See you next time.
transparent. Yes, that's right. This is translucent and this is opaque. So, dari sini, dari chart ini, kita bisa melihat bahwa sinar bisa menembus barang-barang yang transparan seperti ini. about it. 